What's up, what's up, Gaming Warriors? Chief Rocky here. Yeah, I definitely messed up the emotes right now. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another video. I did some building while I was on a spatical hiatus, whatever you want to call it. Just, just let you guys know, um, I, my kid was really sick. I had to take him to the hospital. Uh, that lasted like a week or so. On top of that work, just really ramped up. I was recording with Sether, um, and it, obviously it's one night a week. Uh, and you know work and all that and then on top of that I was coming in game when I could about 30 minutes 45 minutes a day and just kind of building this place up now there's no name I did give it kind of like a generic name of I think neck porta because we had neck island over here and this is the this is the place where we discovered I believe when we were going over there is where we killed the elder so this is a, a village, a Dragger village that we came across. I, ah, uh, man, what episode was it? All right, yeah, so it was episode seven is when we went around and we actually mapped out our entire home continent, right? I got stuck here and died. Uh, but we found this Dragger village uh, on the way to the Elder. And man, I knew at the time that we got here that I wanted to keep it. All the buildings, I didn't destroy any of the buildings. All of them are revamped, right? What I wanted to do was kind of recreate what I think the Draugr village would have looked like. And I just added some more stuff. So this building here, which is now the workshop, that building there was there. This building was here. This house was there. And this house over there was here. Everything else, uh, wait a second that little farmhouse over there was there as well so I literally just revamped this there was a big rock here a big gigantic one like that over there it was right here literally right where I'm standing and one was over there as well and we got rid of those so we could pull in boats so as you can see we got a dock here this is our commercial dock where we could actually load up stuff onto these big Viking ships there's a small fisherman's port right there I'm probably gonna get like a little dinghy and uh, we got another boat it's all the way over here yep right here drag port that's where we were taking on all these fouling villages which we just finished up recording by the way and we did find out where uh the yoglith is so we'll be going there as well anywho so i had, i do have that small dinghy which we took over there right so the fisherman's port here and we'll go over there in a second just kind of walk you guys around i know we did, did the cinematic but this is still a pretty cool build i like this one a lot all right so this is a little smelter area i gotta actually put the sign smelter so this is a smelter area here uh you could i'm planning on probably replacing this and getting one of the artisan tables here and then getting one of the more high-end uh ones where we could do black iron there's that let's see we got the old temple gate and i found this temple and i was like man it's really cool if we keep this as like something that this old village used to go to and pray and we could just keep it here as kind of like a remnant of the past of what this village used to be and there it is old temple gate and this is Sether's abode. He claimed it right away. I was going to make this something else, but he said, it's mine. And I said, whatever. <laughs> but I decorated it for him, right? There's a little little, little area we could sit by the fire and drink. A little area where he could have people over and we could eat. He's already got some, uh, you know, just in case you eat something bad, you could puke it up. <laughs> some muck shake, because, you know, he really loves that muck shake. And then some sausages and some beer, of course. Right, and then you can access here. You can actually see through and see where he sleeps. Obviously, if it's a little cozy in there uh, and he's got a little, I don't know, Drager buddy, gal, he could shut some curtains or whatever. <laughs> some of the most common creatures we kill, he loves shooting trolls, so we kept it there, of course. And then he's got two ways into his bedroom. I put a couple um, shields up here for him. They're iron shields, but I thought, you know, hey, just something here for him. Right, he's got a lot of trunk space in here for him, a little place to sit and get dressed. And, of course, one of his other most favorite things to kill is the Abomination. And then we leave out this way. So this is Sether's abode. Ah, the workshop. We forgot to go in the workshop. So the workshop I decorated. So some of the most common tools we use here. And this is a bronze pickaxe just in case we have one. I usually keep a pickaxe with me. But this one will take care of anything in this immediate area. Right? Uh, there's We do have uh, but uh, uh, a... What do you call it? Swamp up here. But everything's taken out of that. We do have a mountain. I don't think we've gone up here and seen anything on this mountain. So we do got to do that. Um, there are some dungeons and stuff we haven't seen on this island as well. It's literally a little island continent that connects. I'm probably going to put a bridge here. And then everything down here. So there's really nothing we need like a high-end pickaxe for. And this is all just the common stuff. I brought some of the old equipment we used to use. Just in case we die here and we need to fight our way back. I don't think this will help. 
<laughs> but it is what it is. But I tried to make this look kind of like a cool little workstation area, and I think it does just that. All right, we'll go over here. This is Three Creeks Pub. I'm going to put this up for a vote of what this village should be named, right? Like I said, I gave it a generic name of Neck Porta because it is Neck to Neck Island, the island we found when we tried to kill the elder. But I'm partial. I'm going to just go ahead and say it because I know it's going to influence the vote, but I'm going to say it anyways. Three Creeks, it sounds great, right? Because it sits on three creeks, and I'll show you that. So this is the pub, right? One person sitting here, eating area a second, and then obviously just sit here and drink some booze. Uh, I put this over here, a little workstation, um, as like, hey, I'm going to come and purchase this, and then back there is the actual... Sometimes I get stuck here. It's a crowded, it's a crowded pub. Come back here, and this, and this is where the cooking happens, right? And obviously back here is kind of like the uh, storage area where they could store some uh, some food items. So come over here. Kind of kind of jump around and get sideways. But you could open this up and grab whatever food items you want. And then you could cook it here and shut. Okay. So try to make that look authentic as much as possible. You could actually, there's a walkway around the outer edge of the pub, which you could stay dry if you want. Just kind of walk around to get to the pub. I thought that was pretty cool. All right. Right here is Fellowship Pier, right? And Fellowship Pier is somewhere we could come and just chill and sit by the fire and chat while somebody's waiting to get into the hot tub and just stay warm by this big old bonfire, right? All right, over here is just a garden house. Um, no one really lives in here. You don't really need a fire in here because it's right next to this fire. But if we get anybody else in the game, they could take this over. It's theirs. I like how this has just like this little edge right here. Very cool. Awesome. Here's part of the three creeks I was talking about, right? So. Hey, you're supposed to be lit. <laughs> There's a couple of them are dying out, actually. So I got three bridges going across, right? So these three bridges kind of just connect these areas right here. There's another bridge over there that kind of goes up to by Sether's house. But there's th three creeks, right? And these walls kind of keep us in. But I, you can see I put iron gates to not obstruct the water coming in and out. And I wanted to make sure like the lily pads and the reef and the reeds stay there because it just looks really cool. Okay, here's another uh, house. This one's called Creek's Edge House. Again, no one lives here, but it's kind of far away from all the fires. So we did put a fireplace here. If anybody joins us in this game, there's another open house. Again, here is a back gate. I kind of got to do something with this because you do kind of get stuck. There we go. And then there's a little actual watch area over here. A little, little kind of tower area. I call it the outhouse. Sometimes... Uh, what do you call it? Um, mushrooms spawn here. So I'm going to leave that alone because I usually come back and there's some mushrooms in there. So it's pretty cool. And then Boo just showed me this, like an enclosed, uh, what do you call it? Uh, workstation, but you could actually jump in here and you could access it and repair your stuff. But this is so I could keep all this stuff here repaired and build if they destroy it or, you know, as, pe as enemies are hitting this. All right. So this is the south gate. Um, again, here's that walk area going up near Sether's house towards the back. All right. And then here's the other creek. And then it, they all form up to this creek, which actually goes into the mouth of a river. So here is the farm, farm plots right here, right? So carrots, turnips, all the things you could grow here. And then I'm going to save this one for last, guys. Uh, and then the onion. And then right here, this right here is the West Cargo Gate. So we could come through here and go this way. This actually takes you towards the stones. You can hop over there, and that's Neck Island, which I'm thinking about building, like, a, uh, a lighthouse over there. Something like Seth. Seth is building a couple of cool things I'm hoping to show here shortly. It's going to be lit, too. All right. So this right here is the farmhouse. So berries, honey, and then there's another house. So if anybody wants to move in here, they can. This one's really tight, but it was here. And the reason why I kept it here is because I really like this part, like, the, the actual, like, growth on it. That is cool, so it stays. And then the whole reason why I decided to actual, actually build this stuff up was this guy here, Theo. Now, I found Theo over here at Drakeport, and I boated him all the way over here. He got hurt because there was a lot of rocks in the river. So I stopped here, and then he almost died getting attacked. So I said, okay, well, we are going to build this up. I still have to take Theo. I want to take Theo all the way over here to Mount Villa our main farm area and start reproducing him and trying to get one star pigs. But I didn't want to run the risk of killing him and he needed to stay here until I could actually get him healed up and boat him over there. All right, so right here, this is the actual port state, uh, teleporting station. So my goal here is every continent, and I'm going to consider these islands right here, like one mini continent. This is going to be where all the portals connect you to this continent. This one right here is going to take you back to 
the main hub, which is going to be the rebuilt bastion. We haven't rebuilt a bastion yet. All right. And then we're going to go over here to Fisherman's Pier. I think I said that kind of wrong. This is going to be the main hub for this continent. Dragport is going to be the main hub to connect everywhere. All right. Fisherman's Pier. I got the idea that we could get like the little dinghies or a raft here and then people could kind of fish off the side. I thought that'd be pretty cool. It was just like an open space, but I wanted to keep the trees because it looks kind of cool. Kind of like, you know, a little mini forest right here with the Fisherman's Pier. These trees stay, by the way. I, I, I really love using the nature to the advantage when we build this stuff. And here is the main bridge. This bridge right here, obviously, will be the one we go through to connect stuff. There is another cargo gate over here, and that is the east cargo gate. And I'm planning on building a bridge, like I said, to connect these two continents, and that would be the bridge that you go over to connect to those two. Now, this right here is the mayor's abode. Now, I have ideas in the future for people to have different continents and maybe have like some arena battles and whatever and then this nation and what. I'm going to save that for the future, right? Because I have a couple ideas. So for the time being, I am the mayor <laughs> and this is my place, right? So obviously we can sit here and then gamble. Got a whole bunch of coins and some potions that we could gamble over. Some, you know, repair stations just to repair. Nothing to build, right? Some trophies. Plenty of lighting. You can sit here by the fireplace and just chill um, and watch them play. I don't know why I did that. All right. Oh, my crystal battle act. I can't wait to actually try that out. All right. And then we go upstairs. We get access to the fireplace so we stay nice and warm and cozy. We got a actual dragon bed. Lots of storage space. Right, we could come up here when I have visitors and we could use the cartography table and remap everything. So somebody could click on that now and find all my discoveries, more trophies. I got my uh, my personal chest. I haven't put anything in there yet. And then obviously we could sit here and look over the city center. Anywho, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of mini build review. Normally I do time, lapse, time lapses, but um, again, I'm really, really sorry. I apologize personal issues really kind of took control. I was working on stuff. I just could not get the time to edit. Hopefully you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below whether you liked it or not. Give it a thumbs up and a like and a share. That's all I got. Chief Rocky out.